Did you pull your beer? You yelled at me last time. Oh. Ruined. Oh. Me. <laughs> Well, welcome to another edition of Tipsy Marketing Tips. I remember the name this time. Good job. Mm -hmm. Today, we're having a few beers. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Mango Cart. It's by Golden Road Brewing out of California. <sighs> I, I changed I changed co-hosts, but not terrible taste in beer hosts. So I'm having a Bell's Two Hearted. It's a classic. American IPA, it's been around for a while, and it is absolutely delicious. From Bills in Michigan. Gonna... I do also like that beer, it's pretty good. Cover up that nastiness so you don't have to see it. <laughs> so Katie, what are we gonna talk about today? Today we're talking about image optimization for your website and its performance. Why is that important? So images make up a lot of your website, probably 60 to 70% of the visual components, not this, the behind the scenes code. But it's really important if a website loads quickly for retention and conversions. Can you expand on that? Sure. I mean, conver I mean conversions is an easy one um, if for people to understand only because it's, you know, think of yourself when you're browsing, particularly on your phone, and more than half of web traffic is mobile traffic. So whenever we talk about optimizing a website, we have to optimize for mobile first. Um, if you're on your phone and you're, you've got a couple minutes to spare and the website's taking forever to load, first reaction people have is frustration and then, ah, forget it. And once you lose them, there's a good chance you'll never get them back. So uh, if a website does not load cleanly and quickly and, does, and is not error free, uh, you have a very limited window before you're going to lose people. Yeah. You know? so Especially, I mean, for conversions, and conversions could be an e-commerce site converting somebody into a paid customer, uh, or it could be a service-oriented site converting somebody into filling out that form saying, I'd like a quote. You know, conversions can be a lot of different things, but it could be just clicking the phone number. But if the site loads slow, people get frustrated and move on. Yeah. And another thing is if you're missing images that aren't relevant to some of the content, like a product photo, that's super important. Somebody wants to see something maybe before they make the decision to buy it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a little bit about conversions, and every website has a conversion goal, usually. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty uncommon for them to not. Uh, and you know, the speed plays a big role in that, and images play a big role in your speed. So let's talk about other things. Um, you know, if, if conversion, if website speed is important for conversions, then how can we help increase the speed of website when it comes to uh, your images? So it really depends on the sizes of your images, and it comes down to the different file types and the different sizes they can be. So your standard is going to be your JPEG that can hold the most image data, and you can compress it in a way that you don't lose a lot of the detail in that image. And then there's PNGs. Those can contain like transparent backgrounds, and they can be useful for when you want to put them over like a darker color background on your website. Um, and then there's also SVGs, which is a scalable vector graphic, and those can be really helpful if you have a logo, and they are infinitely scalable, so they can be really friendly for mobile as well as tablet and desktop. So JPEGs can really hold the most detail, even though they're the smallest file format? Yep. So when they are compressed, they actually don't lose any of that important image data. It actually just compresses the metadata behind it, not the actual pixels in the image. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about image compression then. So there's two types of image compression, and that's lossless, which is going to be for your JPEG. So that's when it compresses that metadata behind the scenes, and it doesn't really delete any pixel data. And there's lossy, lossy, it's a hard one. That's a weird word. <laughs> lossy actually deletes Sounds like pixel a dog. data. <laughs> lassie. Yeah. It deletes the go, pixel lassie, data. Go, go. But it makes the image. Katie's in a will. I'm talking about my lossy joke. Katie's in a will. Go ahead. Lossy deletes pixel data. So yes, your images are going to be much smaller. Your web page will load a lot quicker, which can be good for Images that aren't very big, but when you have a really big image, like a hero image on your website, you want the detail and the pixels to be there. So lossy would be for smaller images, lossless would be for larger. Okay, and how do people do that compression? 
So there are a lot of tools online that you can use for free, or you can do a couple paid subscription type websites that do the thinking for you, or you can also use image editing software like Adobe Photoshop or Affinity to do the work if you have web designers like us that would do that behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Or Corel for the weirdos that still use Corel. Yeah. <laughs> Although Corel is still very popular in, in the printing industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Photoshop's far more prevalent now. Yeah. So that's like more on the visual side of things and how do we sort of make that information speak to the user then on the website. So in addition to optimizing the images, there's a few different ways we can speed up a website that has a lot of, that's very image intensive. Uh, so there's CDNs, there's caching, both browser and server side, and uh, there's lazy loading. So CDN is, uh, it stands for Content Delivery Network. Those are pretty sweet, they're, they're very prevalent. Um, it's not hard to set up and they're rather inexpensive, but basically uh, it is a, a network of servers. So typically when you're hosting a website, unless it's in the cloud, it's on a server physically somewhere in a data center. And the further away you are from that data center, the more that data has to travel. It may only seem like nanoseconds, but every little bit makes a difference. Get it? Bit, bit, bite, that was pretty mm -hmm. good. Good one. Um, so uh, the further away you are, the longer it takes to load. So they solved that problem by taking copies of your most important data and mirroring it on you know 30 different servers across the world. So if somebody's in Portland, Oregon, and your server's in Pennsylvania, instead of loading it from the Pennsylvania site, it'll load most of the data from a server on the West Coast. So this, the, the data doesn't have to go as far. Um, then there's, so everybody knows uh, that they have browser cache. They may not know what it is, but if, you know, inevitably, if they've had a problem loading a website before, somebody has said, have you cleared your cache? Uh, or have you done a hard refresh? So it loads directly from the web rather than your cache. So when you know, the, your browser is attempting to make things load quicker uh, by, sol by saving images that get loaded over and over again. So once you go to the home page, it saves your you know, logo or you know, the, the images that are across the whole website. It saves them um, so that it's already in your browser. When somebody loads the next page, it doesn't have to load it again. It's not pulling it down from the server, it's pulling it from your cache. There's also something called server-side caching, where it caches it on the server before the person even, you know, get, gets their browser to do it. And WordPress has a lot of server-side caching plugins that you could use. We implement them on our sites, um, and they speed things up. Um, you know, other than images, this, this yeah. topic is mostly about images, uh, but to speed up a site, the other JavaScript can can often really slow down a page, uh, especially if you're using a lot of different plugins. So those caching programs that work on images will also minify uh, the JavaScript, uh, cut out unnecessary chunks and, and optimize it so it loads quicker. Yeah, and another thing that I actually learned uh, recently was that WordPress itself and the media uploader that you use to store all your images on your website can actually help you compress the images in there as well if they're too big. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I mean, there's, there's lots of things you can do. Another thing is called lazy loading. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it's a really long page with lots of images, like a long blog post or a long you know, page that shows tons of examples about what you do, if the page is set up right, you can have it just kind of load the page that the, browse, the, the, the browser or the visitor needs to see at that moment. Uh, and then as they scroll down, it starts loading the rest. So the entire page doesn't need to be loaded before um, the visitor or the or the Google to use the the site as fully painted, fully loaded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots lots of interesting things, um, and but you know so we talked about importance of speed for conversions, but what are the, you know there's lots of reasons why a high performing, fast loading websites important, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really comes down to the visual experience that uh, the user will have, like the visual. Mm -hmm user experience. So if they go to the web website and it takes forever to load or it doesn't quite look right, an image isn't loading, something feels off, they're not going to take the time to thoroughly go through your website or get to what they were trying to and bounce and go back to their search results. Yeah, they're going to get frustrated. They're going to go to find a site that loads quickly or they're just going to abandon whatever they were looking for and not worry about it. Uh, but it also plays a big role in SEO. So Google moved to um, 
kind of an experience first model a while ago where they want to give you their users and their their users aren't people paying for the ads their users are people doing the searches that's who they view as their customer they want that person to have the best experience that person can have after doing the search so first it starts with showing relevant results but then they want to make sure that when that person clicks through they're happy with the experience on the site at the other side if your site is slow, uh, all things being equal, they're going to show another result over top of yours uh, that loads quicker. Uh, and they look at they look at how long somebody tries to stay on your site. They look at how many pages they look at. If the person's on your site for 15 seconds and they bounce, uh, that's going to hurt your rankings because that you know they're going to clearly say either the content wasn't what the customer was looking for or was taking too long to load, and they bounced and they went to another site. So speed uh, and uh, how well and quickly your images load have a huge impact on SEO and how well you'll rank. So it's pretty important, it's pretty vital. It's very important. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do they do a lot of this stuff in, at, at university? Did you have to learn this after the fact? It was a little bit of both. They kind of explained it, but didn't go into the full depth as to why the SEO part is super important or the speed. So we definitely practiced it, but never saw it in action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. I've always owned companies that needed graphic designers, and I'm a terrible designer myself. I've always hired graphic designers. I'm thankful for their talent and skills, because I do not have it. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not thankful for their terrible taste in beer. <laughs> but you'll notice Brianna's not on this. She was in the last video, but she's still hung over from her seven glass bender that uh, she wasn't able to make this video. Did you receive that information from her directly or? Oh yeah, okay. I'm sure, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, I can't remember. All right, well, thanks Brian. Oh. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. That's another Tipsy Marketing Tips. If you like our videos, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and uh, TikTok and YouTube and uh, LinkedIn and all the other places you can find us. And yeah. You know, if you're looking for uh, help getting a better performance out of your website, um, you know, we're Amity Digital, uh, and we'd love to help you. Until next week, like this video. we'll have a different beer and or topic, and maybe maybe we'll throw in another girl as a co-host, a different person. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> cool.